my topic is quite connected with the previous one. It's also about some learning and it's about what I learned from doing just one simple thing. And you can also try it. But this is not a magic pill which can help you to solve all the problems. But it's rather something that requires time, but it gives you back much more than you invest in it. And let me show you the lessons I got from it and starting from the first one. Lesson number one. It develops perspective. This little activity helps to see this situation from the different perspective, from the perspective of other person. Uh, this activity helps me and still helping, I learning uh, in the relationship with my wife. Because when we are speaking about things which seems to be different, in fact, maybe not different, but we just look at this from the different points. And this activity is helping me to try to understand her uh, a little bit more and avoid some arguing. Uh, lesson number one, uh, number two, M3, deepens focus and memory improvement. Uh, focus is something what we really, really needed our professional life and our work. And I'm happy to realize that after a while of doing this, I really focused on the tasks I'm doing. I don't, I'm not disturbed by any noises, laughing, making coffee, because if I focused on the task, I don't hear just anything else. And memory improvement. Uh, I just know that I can recall the names which I saw a month or two months ago, just once or twice. But when later I need this information, I just remember that, oh yeah, I, I did it, something related to this person few, some time ago. So these two are going together. However, it's not always working because when I'm focused, for example, and my wife is asking me to start laundering, I forget about it, but happens. Moving on, lesson number four, creativity. Creativity probably is the most valuable asset nowadays. You need to be creative, you need to really think uh, differently, not like other thinking. And this small activity helps you to come up with new ideas, new solutions, new situations. So I really encourage you to try. Of course, probably you don't know what I mean, but wait a moment and soon I will show you what I mean. Moving on, lesson number five, planning skills. We all are planning everything. We are planning our calls, we are planning our meetings, our vacations, holidays, everything. And how many times you notice that you thought about everything, about different perspectives, but then you forgot about something that you took into consideration. So this little activity, with the time of course, will help you to take into consideration everything. So all possible details and only just the hard situations in hard situation, you can forget about some things and skip something. It's another uh, adventure that you can learn with me. Lesson number six, benefit for kids. Yeah, we are not the kids anymore, but we do have a kids or siblings or nephews, anybody uh, who is uh, just a kid now, but if you discover for your kids or relatives or for the kids you know this activity, it may help you a lot. And apart from the advantages and benefits which I already mentioned and will be mentioned later, just remember that one day this kid can come to you, let's say your son, and thank you for showing this way because uh, he will bring you just one million euro that he earned and I will tell you later how. Lesson number seven, uh, prevention dementia. I don't have it, I hope, and I don't want to have it. So, in order to prevent it, I just use this very cheap and I would say even free method, but it gives you much more than you put in it. So, worth to try, always worth to try. You know what? Will be lesson number eight. Increase self-awareness. We all are asking the question who we are. Uh, let's take as example negotiations. 
uh, do you prefer attack strategy or defense strategy or to create some situations or simplify everything? You will understand about yourself much more doing this uh, secret activity that I will show you later. And it will help you to understand how to behave and maybe improve some, mm, let's say, weaker side of your personality. Number nine, panic attacks. Uh, fortunately, I do not have it. However, I have a friend of mine who is afraid of flights. When he's on plane, it's almost his funeral. It's really huge fear. And when I read about this fact, we decided to try. Why not? And after a while, we were surprised that it actually works. The panic attack symptoms were significantly reduced and two, three hours flight is not such a problem anymore. So if you have, know someone who is suffering from the symptoms, please try, it may help to other people. Lesson number 10, stress. We know what the stress is, uh, but I divide the stress for external and internal. External comes from external factors like some emails, task amount, something what you cannot basically control or influence in any way. Uh, but there is also internal one, and internal one is caused by something what we did by the consequences of our actions and decisions and how to manage it, how to deal with this. You will learn it with the time. Nobody can give you the solution, but you will understand it for yourself. Uh, just uh, as an example, I buy additional insurance for my devices. I didn't say that all solutions can be good, but it's also something. The last one, but not the least, mistakes. We often hear that we all make mistakes. We are human beings, mistakes are okay. And I always have a problem with the statement because if it's so natural and if it's so okay, why we hear about it so often, like trying to convince ourselves. Here, doing this, you will understand that mistakes are actually fine. And you will not just know that it's natural, but you will feel that it's natural. And nobody says that eating is okay. Everybody is eating. Nobody hears it from anyone. The same with the toilet, but I will not go so deep into this. The point is, after doing this, after learning, you will actually understand what the mistakes are and you will learn from these mistakes in order not to repeat them again. Uh, those who know me probably already know what I'm talking about, but for those who are still guessing, this is the game, also known as the Game of the Kings, which became famous around, more famous, I mean, around two years ago when the uh, series was released, named Queen's Gambit. Of course, I'm talking about chess. Uh, chess, uh, it's not really known when it's appeared and where, but it's traced back around one and a half thousand years ago, and it appeared in North India. Uh, and became famous in Europe after expansion of the Islamic Arabian Empire. And there are a lot of stories and legends about it, but one of my favorite, probably the most, my favorite one, is there was uh, the king in North India who was not a really good king. And once, one day, wise men came to him and showed this game, the first version of it, and told him to play. After a king played a few times, he realized that he did not value the lives, people's life in his kingdom, and he changed his mind after this. So he realized that even the weakest and some, somebody or something what seems to be useless or not important is actually important and plays huge role in everything, in whole structure. This is the first lesson he learned. And the second one, the king wanted to reward the wise man and offered him as much gold and silver as he wanted. But the wise man said, no, please give me as much grain as you can put on the board. Consider it on the first cell, you put the one grain, on the second one, two grains, and each next cell, please double amount of the previous cell. Uh, king was laughing and did not understand actually why it's so small amount uh, the wise man wants. But then, when he tried to collect such amount of grain, it turned out that 
there is no so, such amount of grain in the whole kingdom. It's impossible to kind of collect. And this is the, first, uh, the second lesson that says that even if something looks not really important and small, it doesn't mean that it is like this. Just look deeper. Some interesting facts about it. The word checkmate uh, came from the word shahmat, which literally means the king is dead. Not really optimistic, but it is as it is. Some fact I'm really happy about, personally, second book ever printed in English was about chess. Good choice. Uh, although l recently I saw the book with the name Fried Green Tomatoes and somewhere we turned to the wrong direction, but okay, probably we have still, have, still have a chance to come back to the right one. Unlimited amount of possible positions in the chess game. Basically, that's where all these advantages and lessons come from. It's creativity, it's memory, it's everything. It's just up to you how you will play and what strategy you will choose. You will learn a lot. The numbers, 472,000, 9 million. 9 million possible uh, positions and situations. It's the amount which is possible after each of the players make just three moves. First player, second player, one move, 400 possible positions. After third one, it's 9 million. So try to convince me it's not interesting. And I promise you to mention why it's beneficial for kids and where 1 million euros come from. This is the reward if you become a champion of the world. So if you have a crown, that's how much you paid. I think your kids will be grateful if they're interested and if you give them a chance. Uh, so, what I would like to say in the conclusion. If you are interested, and if you want to try yourself, it's always worth to try. If you played before but didn't do it for a long time, or if you are playing and you just don't have anyone to play, feel free to contact me. We will play a game, we can organize the tournament, we can just spend a great time. Although it's in the name of the game of the kings, it doesn't mean that only kings should play. It's for everyone. Uh, thank you very much for attention.